Throughout the semester, we'll be using a web-based data analysis package called StatCrunch. StatCrunch is available on any Java-capable web browser, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. In order to access the site, you need to go to the following URL, statcrunch.com. In order to use the software, you'll have to subscribe. So if we click on the subscribe link to the left of the screen, you can purchase a six-month access for $12. So if we select under the student option the six months of access, you'll need to go on to create a StatCrunch ID. StatCrunch is now offered through Pearson Education, so you'll need to accept their license agreement policy at the bottom of the page. In most instances, you will not have a Pearson Education account, so if you click No here, you can now create a StatCrunch ID, which will, be, which will serve as your login. Please use your NKU login that you've been assigned. So for instance, my login in this case would be Buckley B1. You can check for availability. In my case, I will get the red X because I already have an account created. You should see a green check mark. If for some reason your NKU username has already been selected, please choose something that's similar, but let me know of the change. After you create your password, if you click Next, you'll be asked for additional information such as your email address, what university you're associated with, and other um, minor details. On the following page, you'll be charged the $12 for access, which can be paid with any major credit card or using PayPal. Once your StatCrunch ID has been created, if we return to the StatCrunch homepage, you can now log into the system in the upper left-hand corner. The home page for StatCrunch looks like the following, and one of the first things that you need to do is join the appropriate group for whichever section of Stat614 you're enrolled in. In order to do this, if you click Explore, you can explore various groups that are available. The quickest way to find the appropriate group is to browse for the phrase STA614. And if we search for this phrase, two groups are available, one for each section of the course. And if you click on the appropriate title, you can request to join the group. Once you've requested to join the group, an email will be sent to me, and I can approve that you're in the right section. StatCrunch will be used for the, for the remainder of the course for any type of data analysis that we do, as well as some group work and some of the longer assignments that will be given. More details on the software will be given as we progress throughout the course this semester.